What's up, guys? Holy shit. I cannot believe I'm doing a fucking moto vlog right now. Uh, I apologize for the sniffles, and if I leave my visor open and it gets windy. Um, I did a mic test in the helmet in my house. I haven't done it outside. So hopefully this is working out perfect. Uh, I bought a fucking $12 mic from uh, Fry's uh, recently. And it turned out to be fucking garbage. And I bought three for $5 on uh, Amazon. Waited a couple weeks and then got uh, got those in the mail today. Those are working out. Or I, I did the test in my room and it worked out perfect. The other mic, it was just it was uh, scratchy and fucking... It was just garbage. It was too, too fucking quiet. It was just ridiculously quiet. So... Yeah, I got fucking set up. I'm... Fucking so excited, you have no idea. Beautiful state of California where I can lane split legally, not worry about shit. Love it. <laughs> it hurts my neck after a while. <laughs> it really does. But uh, thankfully I got a new helmet uh, not too long ago. It's a little uh, cheap built helmet. It's like 70 bucks. Um, I guess I'll show you guys my setup and whatnot uh, in another video. But I like it. it. It fits a lot better. The helmet I had previously, the helmet I had previously was a fucking, don't go. That's right. <clears throat> was, uh, the helmet I had previously was an HJC. I don't know what it was, but I've had it since I was in fourth grade. I'm 20 now, so that's like 10 years. Where your hat fucking right, you douchebag. Anyway, um, what the fuck was I gonna say? So anyway, I had that HJC, and um, it was just it wobbled on my head and stuff, and it was just a loose fitting. Uh, it wasn't like smelly or anything, but I just figured I could definitely use a new helmet with this new bike. Um, um, so yeah, this is uh, me fucking moto vlogging. Uh, I'm fucking excited, you guys. You know, I've only got seven subscribers at this moment of this video, or at least the last time I checked this morning. Yeah, I I've been day. Uh, keeping up with a lot of moto vloggers um, since last year, actually. At that point, uh, I made my first video. Well, I watched moto vlogging uh, a little bit before that, but only a couple. Of I weeks. always see bikes parked up on the sidewalk up here. So I guess it's okay, right? If you see someone else do it, it makes it okay. I think that's how the rule is. I don't know, I don't know if I trust it. Yes, fuck it. Let's do it. It's actually video. It's called a GoPro. How do you do it while you're driving? You just you just leave it on. It's on right now. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Good. That way you can get those best shots. Exactly. That's my plan. Is a Vietnam vet. Well, thank you, sir. This is my new regular thing. Moto vlogging. Uh, I don't want to set a schedule yet because I'm just not sure what I'm gonna be able to do. Or I mean, you know how that goes. People's schedules get crazy. Oh, I'm going because you're not looking, dumbass. <sighs> um, taking advantage of stupid drivers is a good thing. So now, when they try to kill me, that's when I get upset. Go Corvette. Let's 
do it, motherfucker. <laughs> Probably stole that. Um, I am gonna try from this vlog on to do a question of the day. My question of the day, maybe if I'm wrong, uh, I'm just gonna ask it. Uh, maybe I'll, again, maybe I'm completely wrong, but uh, why are there the only, only moto vlogger I've ever seen on a cruiser has been Ramekin on that uh, Hyosung silver fucking 650, GV 650 or whatever it was. And that was for a short time, for which I am unaware of when it started and stopped. But, uh... How come there is no motor vloggers on cruiser bikes? Oh, you twats. Are you I am going to end this motor vlog now for good this time but holy shit I cannot wait to do another